Why don't you like using African American, by the way? Because as I trace my roots back in this country, my the majority of my roots, the ones that are more meaningful to me, were the slaves that were my foreparents, my forefathers. And so I identify as a black American, more so than an African American. Yes, many of the slaves came from Africa, but my heritage is mostly here in the United States with the, the country went through slavery, we went through the civil rights movement, so I prefer the term black American rather than African American. That's going back too far. They showed on CNN the full Martin Luther King I have a dream speech yes. at the weekend. First time I've shown it in full for a long time. Incredibly inspiring. I mean, just goosebumps when yes. you watch it. You were around when that whole civil rights movement was going, but you didn't get actively involved. Why was that? Because of my age. Uh, the height of the civil rights movement was the late 50s and the early 60s. I didn't graduate from high school until 1963. High school students weren't out doing sit-ins and bus boycotts. One, you, you needed to finish your high school education. And secondly, most of us couldn't afford to be taking time off if we had part-time jobs and things of this nature. So I was too young. In your book, you tell a very moving story about you, you went to a local barber's. Yes. And all the white guys kept coming in and having their hair cut. Yes. And you were just left there. And eventually, one of the black Americans in there said to you, Sorry, that's, this is not where you get your hair cut. You're a black man. See, the, the, I mean, it seems almost impossible for people of my generation right. to understand this was going on. See, you have to look at the fact that in the South, the tradition, and I went to black barbershops growing up, the tradition was you walk into, you didn't make an appointment, you walk into the barbershop, and who, whichever barber had the empty chair next, he would say, next, and it, you just went in the order that you came into the barbershop. So I go to Fredericksburg, Virginia, and I'm expecting the same tradition. But I sat there and I kept watching white customers being called up, and I'm sitting here. It wasn't until I went up to one of the black barbers and said, am I next? You skipped over me. And that's when he said, well, we can't cut black hair in here. I said, what? No. We, you got all black barbers. What do you mean you can't cut black hair in here? we would lose our jobs if we do. This is 70 miles south of Washington, D.C. I thought I was closer to, I thought I was out of this kind of stuff. And so he said, but you can find a black barbershop over past Sears on the other side of the railroad track. What did you do? I drove over to Sears, bought me some clippers and a set of clippers and went home and cut my own hair and I've been cutting my own hair ever since. Have you really? Yes, I have. I've only had one professional haircut since 1967. How did I do? Doesn't look too bad, actually. I just, <laughs> hey, I just did this this morning. <laughs> you know what? You may have a future. I'm serious. It doesn't work out in politics. Now, someone said, well, you're going to see a cut your hair if you become president. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs>